another day another story hello and welcome to this video on organic ecosystems and their concepts in this video we'll be exploring the fascinating world of organic ecosystems and the concepts that define them to start with let's define what an ecosystem is an ecosystem is a community of living organisms along with their non-living environment interacting with each other in a given area organic agriculture is often described as a natural farming system it is characterized by withhold from chemical synthetic inputs like chemical fertilizer and pesticide it controls undesirable quantities of crop associates by stimulating the self-regulatory capacity of the agro ecosystem as much as possible for example by using agro biodiversity at different levels of management like farm level crop species level variety level within the organic farming system ifoam 2002 self regulatory ability of the organic farm ecosystem stability and yield stability Although organic agriculture is nowadays known for its avoidance of the use of agrochemicals and its consequent striving for environmental benefits, organic agriculture is more than only replacing chemical by natural compounds. In organic agriculture, one does not want to rely on phytosanitary agrochemical intervention because of the application of the concept of the integrity of life at the level of the ecosystem. System Stability The self-regulatory ability of organic agroecosystems can be defined as the capacity to either resist the effects of small and large restrictions or show enough resilience to counter them without high input from outside the farm ecosystem. Such system stability or resilience can often be found in multi-species agro-ecosystems and is important for risk reduction and yield increase, but also for reducing population densities of hard organisms and increasing densities of beneficial organisms, both in the short and the long run. Each organic farmer has to find his own way in managing site-specific diversity and identifying the correct assemblages of species in time and space that will best realize through their biological synergism, the self-regulatory capacity of his individual farm ecosystem. Differences in cultural practices and the knowledge, skills and motivation of each farmer result in specific farming styles, emphasizing that the farmer himself is also part of the agro-diversity complex. More than his conventional colleague who has greater means no control or overrule diversity, an organic farmer has to translate and apply general ecological knowledge to his specific farm situation. Given differences in environmental conditions and the socio-economic context of each farm, differences in cultural practices and the knowledge. Yield Stability The reliability of an organic farming system depends not only on high levels with low inputs, but also largely on yield stability. Although organic farmers may gain relatively more system stability after their conversion period and several years of good farming practices, they still have few external inputs to quickly control or correct farm conditions during the growing season against undesired heterogeneous environmental conditions in time weather, climate and space soil, topography. Reduced system stability can result in yield reductions and low yield stability. Description of soil management in organic farming. Use of organic manure makes the availability of nutrients less controllable. This might result in lower yield stability. On the other hand, in organic systems, often higher soil organic matter content is observed than in conventional systems. This might partly compensate for the yield-limiting effect of the low nutrient availability by increasing the water bolding capacity and nutrient retention capacity of soils under organic production.
Another matter worthy of attention is that in low input systems such as organic farming, within field variation might affect yield stability. Most essential in the use of organic fertilizer necessity for active soil organisms, like earthworms, nematodes and mycorrhiza to regulate nutrient cycling processes, to make nutrients available to the crops, to make the soil structure and systems and to suppress pests and diseases. Organic ecosystems, in particular, refer to ecosystems that are made up of living organisms, such as plants, animals, and microorganisms, that interact with each other and their environment in a complex and interdependent way. One of the key concepts in organic ecosystems is biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety of different species of plants, animals, and microorganisms that make up an ecosystem. A healthy organic ecosystem will have a high level of biodiversity, which is essential for maintaining a balanced and sustainable ecosystem. Another important concept in organic ecosystems is the food chain. The food chain describes the flow of energy and nutrients from one organism to another within an ecosystem. It starts with the primary producers, such as plants, which convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. The energy is then transferred to herbivores, which eat the plants, and then to carnivores, which eat the herbivores. One of the biggest threats to organic ecosystems is human activity. Deforestation, pollution, and climate change are all major factors that can disrupt the delicate balance of an ecosystem and lead to a loss of biodiversity and the collapse of food chains. That's why it's important to understand the concepts that define organic ecosystems and to take action to protect and preserve them. In conclusion, organic ecosystems are complex and interdependent communities of living organisms that are defined by concepts such as biodiversity and the food chain. By understanding these concepts and taking action to protect and preserve organic ecosystems, we can help to ensure a healthy and sustainable future for our planet. Thank you for watching this video on organic ecosystems and their concepts. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.